All right, man. You're, uh, you're, this is your fifth UFC fight, yeah? Fifth. Does it feel a little old hat to you now? Does it feel like home? Are you kind of used to how fight week works at this point? Yeah, I'm definitely used to fight week, uh, but, you know, I'm still, I still feel new and not green, but, you know, I still feel like I need to establish myself. That part of it, sure, but but at the very least, I mean, you know what to expect when you get to town for, for a fight week. You know you're going to sign some posters, you got to do photo shoots and all that stuff. That part has to be way easier now to deal with. Definitely, yeah. I'm used to the routine, and uh, it's... You guys may, may make it really simple. The UFC makes it really simple and easy for us, so it's been awesome. Your, uh, this is your first one in uh, in 2019. I mean, I know six months isn't a, a huge layoff, but mm -hmm. have you been kind of itching to get back in there and been kind of anxious? Yeah, well, I tore my hamstring in my last one in December, so I had to wait. The Milwaukee fight, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to wait like three months, you know, to get back in the gym, get back in shape, get a fight lined up. But, yeah, definitely itching, obviously, especially the way it went down in the last one uh, to get back in here. Was that your first time for an injury like that? Or had you no. Like uh, outside of the UFC, uh, I, br I had like five uh, breaks in my face. I had a metal plate put in my face. Uh, that was not, the hamstring. I mean, it compromised me, obviously. I couldn't really stand on my leg, but it wasn't really that painful. Or like, uh, I mean, it was painful, but it wasn't, compared to my face injury, yeah. it wasn't really that crazy but it definitely hampers you I mean you can't get on a treadmill you can't get on a, on a bike yeah I was limping around for like yeah. a month and a half I had to slowly start lifting and rehabbing it took a while um, despite the loss in in the last one you did sign a new deal right I mean correct what did that kind of do for you in terms of you know like a confidence boost that, that these guys like what they see in you and, and that they want you to stick around yeah so th for the last one I was I was concerned uh, it was the last fight of my contract, and, you know, that's a scary, you know, you're in a scary position there. You have to go out and perform. If I don't win, I'm not going to get re-signed. And, you know, so there were so many, like, I wasn't, I think I was too focused on that instead of just going out there and being me, even though I did, and it ultimately it got me a new contract, and I got, you know, fight of the night, so mm -hmm. that was the cherry on top. Uh but, you know, obviously winning is the name of the game. But I did accomplish, I guess, like 75% of my goal. And now I get to step back in there and prove, you know, why I, you know, prove to you guys that, you know, I am worthy. Uh, does, does being on a, on a skid at all change the way you prepare for a fight, change the way you train, even, even just from a, from a mental standpoint? Or did you go through that enough? for the Milwaukee fight when you were telling yourself, oh geez, I got this pressure because it's my, the last one on my deal. And so now you're kind of, now you're past those kind of those mental. Yeah, well, I know, I know they like me. If they resign me, they gave me the bonus. So they like the way I fight. Um, I know I proved in my last fight that I was the better fighter, but this is MA and crazy things happen. And I couldn't prepare for my hamstring tearing, you know, that was out of my control. So, um, but I was winning, I won one, two, and I was winning the third round until, you know, I couldn't move well and I got hit and the ref stepped in and stopped it. Um, or whatever, the way it went down, I got TKO'd. Yeah. But um, no, I mean, it really hasn't changed the way I've been training. I tweaked a couple of things here and there, not as far as like technique wise, but, you know, conditioning and uh, strength training stuff and stuff. Uh, but no, I mean, I put on a great show in my last fight and. And I think, I, I know I show that I improved a lot. So not much has changed. So so from a like, kind of like, I don't want to call it like a moral victory, but the, the way you can kind of look at it is it's a loss on paper. It's a loss on my record that's never going to go away. But you did everything you were supposed to do in the fight, everything that you trained for, everything was going the right way and shit happens kind of thing. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, it was like... And I went in there, I was doing everything I had to do, everything was going my way, I was on the way to winning, and then I, you know, had a little uh, mishap, but that's the, that's, that's the sport, you know, yeah. and that's every sport, really, but uh, I think it's just made me better, you know, I learned a lot, and um, I'm, I know that, I know that I have what it takes. Talk to me a little bit about Dan and what he brings to the table as an opponent, what he's good at, you know, some of the things that you've uh, you've looked at when you've scouted him. 
So he's a taller, uh, rangy, well, he's longer than me, uh, uh, you know, uh, reach-wise, but he fights like a shorter fighter. He doesn't use his length as well as I think, you know, guys his size could use their length. Um, he's a southpaw, so I had to, you know, work on that stuff. But um, he's a tough guy. He's got, I think he has eight submissions out of his 13 wins. Um, his stand-up seems a little, it doesn't seem like a strong point, but, you know, a fight like that, you know, he could make it harder than it has to be, or I can make it harder than the fight has to be. So I just have to keep it basic and do what I'm good at, and, and I'll get the win. He, uh, he needs a win, too. I mean, do you, do you think about things like that when you go into it, or are you one of those kind of guys who says, I'm going to do me. I get to just worry about myself. And I mean, I'm, a, I'm definitely like a, a worrier, you know, but I thought about that. I know he's also on a two-fight losing streak, uh, and he hasn't won at all in the UFC yet. So I know that he definitely put everything into this fight, you know, into, into his camp. So, But that's, you know, I try not to put too much energy into it because, like, it doesn't make sense. Why? You know, I can only control the now, mm. you know, if I think about the past and worry about the future, it's not going to do me any good. So that's also a big thing I've been trying to do is just stay in the moment, you know, live in the now and uh, to be to be confident is to be prepared. So I've done everything I possibly could. This is my best camp that I've ever had. So I'm going in there, uh, you know, really with a positive mindset and super confident.